I remember seeing a comment asking me about what I do with my um, phone when I tap the trains. Usually what I do is I get my thing ready and then I tap. I time it so that like it's five seconds before because the, the, the thing I don't want to do is to hold up everybody as I like fiddle with my passcode and my phone, etc, etc. So we're currently at Palace Chinese Restaurant, which is one of my favorite places to go yum chat. There are a few. This is like probably my favorite in the city. Whenever we come here, they're always like must orders, which is like ha gao and siu mai, both of which we've got. And then this is a spinach dumpling. This is like the ha so got, which is like a glutinous exterior and then inside it has meat. First thing that I'm gonna eat is the hagao. Not bad. There's a good amount of prawns in there. Another thing that you absolutely must order is the silmai, which is like a pork and prawn dumpling. Now, in terms of dipping sauces, we always typically get like a spicy and also a soy sauce. I don't really use them because I feel like <laughs> the dumplings itself has enough flavor. This is something that I sometimes order, but also really enjoy. It's got uh, bo chai spinach. It's got spinach on the inside, and I think it's got prawns as well. It's filled with spinach and prawns on the inside. And the dumpling skin, this one is a little bit thicker, but there's enough filling to balance out the dumpling skin. My favorite is always gonna be the prawn dumpling and also the silmai. This next item, which is almost gone, is an ao pat yi, which is like a tripe. It's not it, tripe. It's like somewhere inside. It's like <laughs> intestines of a cow, but it's so good. I love the texture of it and also the flavors. If you're open to being adventurous. This is something that you should absolutely try and also chicken feet or phoenix claw. That is absolutely something that you should try as well. For tea, oh, gum, gum, gum. For tea, we got pu'er tea. That's like probably my favorite tea to drink when at Yum Cha. Okay, so when someone pours you tea, you might see people like tap the table. The reason is because apparently this is what my grandma and also my dad told me. So back, way back when, there was an emperor traveling and they usually, when the servants see the emperor, they go like, they bow and do that. But because he was traveling and he wanted to be anonymous, people can't like do this whole bow thing because everyone would know that that's the emperor. And if they wanted to kill them, they would know exactly who to kill. So to show their respect, but also be like really, really uh, low key about it, they would just like tap. That would be like, their way of bowing and so now when people pour you tea you tap the table as a way to like say thank you is that true that's what i've been told i think i've said this on the channel before as well but if i'm wrong please feel free to correct me got a little tasu bar. This is the last one. Apparently it's quite good. Mm. At Yum Cha, we always usually order like a bao. Either like, <laughs> my mom's just nodding on the side. Either like a tasu bao or a chicken bao. Or even like lai wong bao or lai wong bao, which is like the lava custard um, baos. This one's pretty good. It's quite fluffy and then the inside is like, it's got a good amount of filling. Wow, they list it. All the whole menu are all list it. So, we also got the Ma Lai Gou, which is like a sponge cake. 
This is what it looks like. It came with like just a circle and then they snipped it for us. A good Malai Go, it's like the flavors are super subtle, but it's very, very fluffy. Can you see? It's only like slightly sweet. It's like biting into a cloud. I like that it's not too sweet. So, this is a ham so got like a meat filling surrounded by a glutinous exterior. It's the best when it's like crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside, and it's got like savory meat stuff on the inside. There's a lot of glutinous exterior. Not bad. I think if this was like just a tad bit thinner, this would be perfect. I think this is the second last item before we have dessert. So this is a chug fun. It's got, so with chug fun you can add like whatever filling you want. They have choices of like beef, they have tasu, which is what we have. Sometimes you have prawns. Chug fun is essentially like steamed rice sheets, steamed rice noodles, and then you've got filling wrapped inside. And they usually have like soy sauce on top or like spring onions sometimes as well. Chavon is really hard to make because it's like so thin. I've never, I've never even attempted to make it. All right, so now we have the chicken feet, Phoenix claw. I really like it. Essentially it's skin and cartilage. And essentially like you just eat the cartilage and the skin. And once you've mastered it, you can put the chicken feet in your mouth and then out comes the bones. And that's when you know you're at master level. Last item for today, the egg tart. Now, the egg tarts that I love the most is the ones that are so paid on. There's like different types of pastries. This one is like a super buttery, flaky pastry as opposed to other ones, which is just like a, a biscuit base, essentially. Like there are many, many layers and it, it, it takes a lot more time and effort to, to make this, essentially. The egg custard is smooth and sweet and creamy. And then you've got like that buttery flake surrounding it. This is very indulgent, but I feel like I can't have too many. Every time I come to Yonsha here, I always get it. Do my, do my a coffee intro. So, my sister really wanted a coffee, so we stopped by the grounds of the city inside the galleries. She's gonna order her standard soy cap. What do I want? She doesn't want anything. I, you know what, since you're buying, I do want one. Okay, we're just done with Yamcha. We have parted ways with our parents. Usually when I go Yamcha, it's typically like $25 per person, and, and today was no different. Um, the bill came to just under $120 per person. We had four people, so usually with Yamcha, unless I'm eating with, <laughs> there's a group of my friends where we all eat a lot. Unless I'm eating with that group of friends, usually Yamcha is between $25 to $30 per person. Yeah. What is this? Naughty, nice, or I tried? I tried. <laughs>